Hi everybody, this is Joanne and when I was modeling, I was at the hands of stylists for hours at a time trying to uh, create the look on me that they wanted for the runway or the photo shoot or for a commercial. And sometimes these stylists would use very high-end products that were very expensive and I always felt quite pampered when that happened knowing I was having a $100 uh, moisturizer put on my face. And some of these stylists would use the drugstore product. In the end, I couldn't tell a difference between how I looked either way. And that made me think, is there really something different about the types of products that are used based on price and packaging and marketing? As I became a scientist and studied a lot of chemistry and biology and started to look at the package ingredients with a discerning eye, I started to see that the ingredients were very similar between the two or the several levels of products that you could purchase. And thank goodness uh, you don't have to call me and ask, should I buy the most expensive product? Uh, there is a blog out there called thebeautybrains.com and even better, they have a book that you can purchase that answers most of the common questions asked about cosmetics and hair care uh, from their blog and it's called Can You Get Hooked on Lip Balm? Top cosmetic scientists answer your questions about the lotions, potions, and other beauty products you use every day. I've always enjoyed their blog, and in fact, they are linked on my website on the Science of Beauty page. Even though I've come up with some of my own uh, questions that I answered, um, I sometimes will refer to the beauty brains for information just to make sure I'm thinking along the right lines. So, this book talks about every type of hair care, skin care, and cosmetic product you can imagine. Most of the common questions that people are asking tells a little bit about the ingredients that are in all there without overwhelming you with the science, but enough science so that um, you can believe that they uh, know what they're talking about. So you know, next time you're wondering what shampoo or conditioner you should use, or should you really buy an eye cream or would a regular moisturizer do just fine, uh, you might want to check out their book and their blog. Um, they have a special place in my heart because at the end of the book they actually suggest a book by one of my favorite science popularizers, Carl Sagan, The Demon Haunted World, Science is a Candle in the Dark, and Carl Sagan in this book uh, basically tells us to be careful of what we are being told because we could be being t told things that are not 100% true, so we need to have a skeptical eye, and this holds true for your skin care, hair care, and makeup. So I highly recommend you check out the book, Can You Get Hooked on Lip Balm? Sort of. <laughs> and uh, get the answers to the questions you have about your skin care, hair care, and cosmetics. Thanks for listening. Bye.